Finally, WrestleMania 40 is here, and I am here to bring you my predictions. Welcome back to another episode of the Marked Wrestling Show where we love pro wrestling. I'm your host, Mikey, and I am here to give you my WrestleMania 40 predictions for night one. If you want the WrestleMania predictions for night two, subscribe to the channel now because I'll put that video up soon as well. You're not going to want to miss it. All right, let's get into these predictions. First match we're going to talk about is Andrade and Rey Mysterio versus Santo Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. I should mention before we get into this, you know, these are all the matches that are these are all the matches that are expected to be uh, on night one card. You know how wrestling is subject uh, card is subject to change. So if any of these matches get moved to around to other nights, um, and I don't know if this is going to be the exact order or anything, but so whatever order they're in and whatever nights they end up being on, if they switch things around, then. That doesn't change my predictions. These are still my predictions, okay? And in this one, I think we're going to have a great Lucha match, a Lucha display that we have not seen in years on WrestleMania. So I think this can be really fun. In the end, though, I think Rey Mysterio and Andrade are going to win because Dominic, he is part of that Judgment Day. And I do not feel like it's going to be a great weekend for most of the Judgment Day. And uh, Dominic is going to be an example of that. So uh, Andrade and Rey Mysterio will get the win in this one. All right, let's move on to our next match, which is Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair versus Damage Damage Control, Dakota Kai, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka. In this one, this is an easy one for me to decide. And it's got to be Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair because... You made a big deal about signing Jade Cargill. Put it all over uh, all the different news media outlets. You 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 had her show up to the shows and not wrestle just so that you could show her off and brag about how you got her to sign with the WWE. Well, now it's time to pay that off. You can't have her come in and lose her first match. You you set it up so that her. Uh, you know, match is going to be on WrestleMania. You don't want her to lose that match. So, you know, if, if you're going to have her get on to WrestleMania so quickly like this, you don't want her to lose it. So they got to win. Jade Cargill will um, no doubt uh, look amazing in this match as well as everybody else. But, you know, you know, they're going to make sure that uh, Jade Cargill comes out of this looking like a star and you know, wins the match. All right, let's get on to the next one. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. This is the hardest one I have. Uh, you know, hardest one I have uh, that I have a hard time deciding which way this one is going to go. In the end, I think I think Jay Uso wins this one. And I'll tell you why, because I'm thinking all the way back to when Jimmy Uso sacrificed himself to save Jay, right? At the end of the day, no matter how much they are feuding and they're at odds, at the end of the day, they are brothers and they're twins. I have twins myself. They're only two years old, so they're not feuding (laughs) like Jay and Jimmy. They're nowhere near anything like that, but they do squabble all the time. And fight over toys and food and anything all the time. But uh, next thing you know, a couple minutes later, they're back to being loving brothers. Well, I think that's what's going to happen here. All right. I think just like when Jimmy sacrificed himself to save Jay, I think Jimmy is going to have the upper hand in this match. And um, it'll be like a situation where uh, he could be smashing Jay just like Roman was... uh, smashing jay uh years ago but then jimmy is going to realize like no he's becoming he doesn't want to become that monster um and and hurt his brother like that so uh in a moment uh uh of you know self-reflection 
Jay will be able to take advantage of that and uh, beat Jimmy. Uh, but I think that will be, you know, just the beginning of a longer road of these brothers coming back together. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing match where Jay is obviously already gotten himself into being a single star. Um, but I think they can get Jimmy there as well out of this match. And they can both come out of this looking like, you know, I won't, I want to say baby face yet, but you'll at least get the hint that Jimmy, uh, is going to want to move into that, uh, baby face, uh, direction. Okay. But Jay Uso gets the win after Jimmy, um, has a moment of self-reflection, even though he has the upper hand. All right, let's get into our next match, the six-pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. Okay, this has uh, R-Truth and Miz, New Day, Judgment Day, uh, Theory, uh, Waller, DIY, uh, Tyler Bate, Pete Dunne. This is going to be an amazing match. Now, one thing I still have not figured out and clarified. So they say they're going to put both sets of um, titles up for grabs. So the way I interpret it, that means that the, the, the belts are going to be split. So that's the way I'm doing this prediction. If I'm wrong on that, uh, because I, I, I didn't really see anything clarified, then I guess... I'll give a prediction if one per, if one team wins it as well, but I think it's going to be split where they're, you know, one team is going to be able to grab one set of belts and they're that champion. And then if somebody else grabs the other set of belts, then they'll be that set of champions. All right. Either way, you know, this is going to go hard. This is going to be an amazing match. Uh, so many high spots in this one. Uh, but I think there's going to be a couple of rights are a couple of wrongs that will be made right. And some characters that have been wronged throughout time, Theory and Waller. You know, they were under... Uh, they, they were brought up at a time when somebody was there that did not know what they were doing anymore, right? And now the person that hired them and knew what they were doing with them, Triple H... Uh, and had them in NXT, he wants to get them to the level that he knows and has always thought that they could be at. All right? So they got to take one of these titles. And another team just like that, that has been wronged for years, uh, you know, since being on the, the main uh, roster level, because, again, that guy was there that was messing everything up. Uh, but now Triple H is here to make everything right. DIY. They got to win that other set of belts. And then um, you, you start their story being a great tag team. And then eventually maybe you work on splitting them up and uh, doing another story like that. And, and bringing that story to the main roster um, because that was such a fun story at the time. All right. If I do have to pick one team to come out of this with the win, if it is really for just if if it's for all the belts, I still pick DIY for the same reason because Triple H has to right those wrongs. Our next match, Gunter versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. In this one, I want to say Sami will win. Chad Gable will be in his corner. They're doing like this Rocky thing. I don't know exactly. You know, it makes me feel. A little bit iffy, you know, about that uh, choice, though. So, as much as I want to say Sammy, because he's one of my personal favorite wrestlers for the longest time now, um, you know, of this era, I, I feel like I'm going to say Gunter, and I, that is what I'm saying. I'm saying Gunter is going to win this match. I feel like there's more story to be told here. Uh, with Gunter, Sami Zayn, and Chad Gable involved. Maybe Chad Gable even costs Sami the match because he sees Sami in trouble and uh, doesn't believe he's going to get it done. So maybe, you know, because they're doing like this Rocky thing, maybe uh, 
Chad is the one that throws the towel in. And uh, that ruins Sami Zayn's uh, chances. And now you start a story where you are you get Sami and Chad involved with each other. Uh, Sami says he wants a rematch with Gunter uh, because he didn't really want to give up. Uh, Chad says, no, you know, you know you can't beat him. So now all of a sudden this becomes like this triangle thing and somewhere down the line we get a triple threat. You know, maybe I guess it would be a backlash. And then maybe that's where um, Sami Zayn wins the title, but uh, he pins Chad for it uh, to get revenge on Chad for throwing the, the towel in. And then Gunter loses the title, but without getting pinned, so that uh, you keep him looking strong. And, you, you know, Sami takes over the Intercontinental title, and uh, Gunter can move on to other things, uh, you know, like... <laughs> like the like the world championship you know that that could be fun to see him going after that and you know again if he wasn't the one that got pinned you, that keeps him looking pretty strong and you would have no reason to say like oh well why should he go after another title if he just lost you say well hey uh i wasn't even the one that got pinned all right so there you go gunter is my prediction for that one uh with chad gable you know doing something that causes Sami Zayn to lose, whether it's, you know, interference or throwing in a towel or something. Our next match, this one is going to be a banger. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch for that Women's World Championship. And my goodness, this is going to be amazing. These Both of these women always go so hard in big moments like this. And you know they are for this one for sure. Um... I can't wait to see this match. It's going to be amazing. And at the end of the day, I think Rhea Ripley wins. Uh, as much as I love Becky Lynch, uh, I think she was the one that was like, there was a there was years there where WWE was really floundering overall, but the women's division was keeping WWE flow and interesting and fun. And Becky Lynch was the biggest part of that. And, you know, I have her T-shirts, cards, uh, merchandise. I love Becky Lynch. But I do not think she wins this match. I think Rhea Ripley wins this match. She is too good. She retains the title. And, you know, she's been getting such a baby face reaction from the crowds lately. She's going to come out of this looking like a face. It doesn't, it's not going to make Becky Lynch heal. It's not going to be like a double turn or anything. But it is going to make... Rhea Ripley a star just because the crowd is going to react. You know the crowd is going to be ecstatic to see Rhea Ripley wrestle for all the spots she's going to do and they're going to be ecstatic when she holds up the title at the end of the match. And that reaction alone is going to start her down the path of being a baby face. And again, Maybe the rest of the weekend's not going as good for the rest. Of, I mean, they obviously, we said Dom is losing. We said uh, Judgment Day. Uh, we didn't pick them to win the or retain the tag titles in that six-pack uh, ladder match. So, yeah, the rest of the Judgment Day not having a good weekend. So maybe this causes some friction, and that is a way for Rhea to get away from Judgment Day and be, you know, just total baby face while... The rest of the Judgment Day goes off and does their thing. Uh, so there you go. There's your prediction. Rhea Ripley wins that match. And then let's get to our main event of night one. Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Not versus. Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. Bloodline rules are on the line for night two main event of Cody versus Roman. So Seth and Cody, they need to win here. Where Cody needs them to win. But I just don't see that happening. You don't advertise a, a stipulation for a match if you're not going to make it happen. So if they're going to make it happen. Again, this one to me, it feels like an easy pick. It's got to be... Uh, Cody and Seth losing this match. So Roman and Rock win this match. How do they do it? They just totally beat down Seth, right? He's going to get beat up a lot in this match. Um, you know, it, it's going to be to a point where they make it obvious that 
this guy with a lot of the, his story has been about how much he has like uh, pushed through injuries and pain and all that. Well, it's going to be obvious that they are going to take the pain to him in this match. And that's not going to look good for the, his, the, the rest of his WrestleMania weekend. Uh, he doesn't take the pin though, because I don't see him taking the pin on two nights. So you get the rock to pin Cody on night one. And this is where Cody or Ro- the rock fulfills his promise. You know, they, they beat down Seth, uh, rock and, uh, Roman do. So that leaves Cody to have to fend for himself the rest of the match. They beat him down. They bloody him up. They get the blood all over the belt. And uh, this is night one where The Rock fulfills that promise of getting the blood on that weight belt, handing it to Mama Rhodes, and saying, hey, there's going to be more of this to come on night two. Don't worry. I'm not going to give you this belt yet because I'm going to add, there's going to be more blood on this tomorrow. And uh, you're going to have even more tears tomorrow, so we'll add it to that uh, tomorrow. That type of thing, right? So it's got to be The Rock pinning Cody here because they have gone back and forth so much. You have to pay that off. I mean, you hear a lot of people talking about like, oh, well, this feud has Cody and uh, The Rock in it so much it almost feels like this is all leading up to The Rock versus Cody more so than even Rock. Ver- I mean, Roman versus Cody. So you, you got to pay off how much of a feud the the rock and cody have been having so the rock's got to pin cody and there you go that is my predictions for night one let me know what you think in the comments uh do you have any of your predictions being different i want to know your predictions uh and uh, either let me know how right you think i am or how wrong you think i am and uh just let me know how excited you are for wrestlemania 40 all right all right this has been the wrestlemania show where we love pro wrestling